time has passed. I can no longer remember the words, just his face and that moment we're in. Everything around him remains in essence. People are expected imagery and none of their faces besides his remain remembered. They are there as bodies and as much as the trees, animals, and buildings are used as decoration for this ideal story. I can just see him smiling, remembering other moments that have yet to pass. This memory of him is so far back that most of what I may tell you could be lies. We tend to remember fantasies over reality, replacing certain details with that perfect imaginative quality. After all, wasn't he just that? Some image, icon, illusion, an indescribable dream. A dream that every day entered my head, and now, shockingly, how could it be gone? He was just a young boy, innocent, and with two sides of his personality. He can be the most inspiring, and then most depressing. You know, if you told him he's cute, he would just laugh, and his eyes are the youngest part of him as he looks away when you look at him. Perhaps in time he'll never look away, because he'll know confidently that someone will always want to be looking. He talks about nothing really, but somehow everything he says makes life appear to be so story-like. Together we laugh and joke and think of a future of seconds, minutes, moments, weeks, in this moment hours, together we are decades, aware of each other's conversations, school, and in a way already years. know he'll never forget this for the rest of his life, as if he'll recount it later, some smell, image, or what have you can resurface that feeling. Funny how he just slipped my mind, and I can just assume that I wouldn't slip his. True romances are created overnight, maybe upon first glance where a feeling of need and wonder comes from a strange feeling that we may have been here before. But now that I remember Who knows that, that, that love was forever. what this boy was all maybe about, on a continual loop. quick, and as if we had been waiting for an eternity to meet. It was as if we were bound to have these moments of endless fantasy together, where we thought about holding hands and saying each other's names. A life flashes before your eyes of where you could go together, and that's what we always dreamed, of the destinations where our memories could remain, untouched. When we weren't together, and as I would say goodbye, he would look at me as if he knew it wouldn't be the last time. In a distant thought, as our hands touch and as I hips, look at him, we I both consider what it would be I like to be just seen with each other in his life. With these outfits, these That's haircuts, and, these and in an instant, this won't be any more distant. Just as a past thought picked randomly in the future, in the bend of endless fantasies, recounted, and the conversations I had with him, I'll have with another, rewind. Another attempt at changing the already known future. Time, time, time. I can't remember the words at all, and that's the saddest part of the story. It's been so long now that all exists as is pictures. Just one moment here, another moment there. Smiles, haircuts, eye glances, sleeping, smirks. He looks at me in a way that I've seen before. And then suddenly, and that is what makes the memory so alive. That look, that glance, that smile behind the eyes. Eyes that resemble a familiar someone. In the tiniest spot of his pupils, his eyes reflect me. For a second I've forgotten everything I've been thinking. He's just so handsome. What's your secret? Maybe this is the moment I've been looking for. And then I realized it was so bad lately. It was just a dream. The worst part of waking up from a nightmare is that two seconds where it still feels real. 
And I dream of this place where he isn't around. But and in this so place, lonely. there is a different feeling. It's a possible. feeling where this could never happen again. Where it doesn't feel right, and it's just filler. Filler until I find someone like him. And yet, as I'm with others, all I can imagine is him sitting there right before. Then I realize why I became so stalled. He is just too much like me. However hard I try to separate ourselves and try to wish I was not like him, it is impossible. We both have the same thoughts in our minds, although with each other are trying to reach the big picture. We keep our secrets and we both have our lies that neither of us know about. We both say we're happy and that's true, but there's something eating at us both, making us deranged. It's as if I've never realized it before, but I was not the only one he was thinking of or looking at. He too can't forget the past and it bothers me because I could forget the past if he could just let it all go. But I'm not the main. Like me, he has also attached others to complete his image of a god. Haircuts, smiles, clothing, muscles, beef. All stitched together to create what he wants. I try to let it all go because this moment is perfect. But really, he doesn't know what he wants. And that makes him clueless, because he's never had it. But maybe I have. <laughs>